a few could build a better world. Where would you begin? How would you shape it? As citizens of the galaxy, now is our chance to work together and through strong alliances, influence a healthy, growing, and more sustainable future. Like the towering structures on the planet of Coruscant in Star Wars, First City is growing and must be resilient and strategic to sustain life and a rising population. Today, we're rethinking, repositioning, and reworking plans to ensure that our burgeoning home is the best it can be. Through creative solutions, it's up to us to build infrastructure within our city that withstands the test of time for generations to come. This year, your mission is to create a structure that pushes into the skies to represent your alliance. On your journey, you will work with droid allies to overcome obstacles that stand in your path to building a superstructure of the future and top it off with a crown of achievement. A final capstone to symbolize our reach into the sky and dreams of a hopeful future. Together, we will experience what First Rise, powered by Star Wars Force for Change, is all about. Together, we rise. Welcome to the first Tech Challenge game for the 2019-2020 First Rise season, Skystone, presented by Qualcomm. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a coach, a human player, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool, but may expand after the match begins. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams two per alliance. Each alliance is allowed only one human player. Your opponents for one match may be your partners for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Eight unique navigation targets are mounted on the field walls. Separating the landing zone from the building zone is the sky bridge made up of two Alliance-specific bridges with 14 inches of clearance and a neutral bridge 20 inches high. Red and blue depots are taped off in the loading zone corners. Red and blue building sites are taped off in the building zone corners. Outside of the field walls are the Alliance stations and human player stations. The main game element is a stone, 4 by 8 and 5 inches tall. There are 56 stones in the game. In addition, there are four special sky stones with a navigation target wrapped over one side. During gameplay, stones are assembled onto Alliance-specific foundations. These are placed in the center of the building zone, but can be moved by robots during gameplay. Each team can design and build a special capstone, which may be used to score additional points. Before each match, teams place their robots on the field, touching the wall closest to their alliance station. 24 stones are stacked next to each human player station. And 12 more stones are placed on the field, including four randomly located sky stones. Each team may preload one capstone onto their robot, or the human player may introduce it later in the game. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Repositioning a foundation to the building site will earn 10 points for the Alliance. An Alliance earns 2 points for each stone delivered to the building zone. Both the robot and stone must be completely in the building zone. A Skystone moved into the building zone earns 10 points only 
if it is the first or second Sky Stone delivered. After that, Sky Stones are worth only two points. If a robot can park over the midfield tape, it will earn five points. And finally, each stone placed in the foundation earns two points. Following the autonomous period is the two-minute driver-controlled period. There are a number of ways to score points. Each stone delivered completely through an alliance's bridge earns one point. However, a stone delivered through the neutral bridge does not earn any points. Each stone placed on the foundation earns one point. The last 30 seconds of the driver-controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may continue scoring stones, but there are also ways to earn bonus points. Placing a capstone on a skyscraper will earn a five-point bonus, plus one point for each level of stones. If a robot moves their foundation completely out of the building site, their alliance earns 15 points. An alliance will earn an additional five points for each robot parked in the building site. There are many ways to score in Skystone, but there are also rules that if not followed will award points to your opponents. For example, robots may not tip over an opponent's skyscraper. Robots cannot block access to their opponent's field elements. Robots are not allowed to reach outside of the playing field. Robots cannot launch game elements, nor are they allowed to deliberately detach parts. This has been a brief summary of the Skystone game. For complete rules, scoring, and official field setup, please read the entire game manual and check the Q&A forum. And always remember, the most important rule of the First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck, teams, and have a great season. Yeah. <laughs>